Hey, Harper, are you there? I need to talk to you for a minute. Yes? What is it, Scarlet? Everything at the wedding is very well prepared now. The guests are also waiting. All that is left for you is to show up and glow on the best day of your life, sis. This is all for you. You don't know how excited me and our parents are. I mean, their feet can't touch the ground anymore. I'm so happy for you, Scarlet. Well, about that. Can I ask you something, Harper? It may sound a little strange, but... Fire away, sis. I'd be glad to assist you with anything at all on the biggest day of your life. Well, it's just that I suddenly don't want to get married to Cody anymore. What are you saying, Scarlet? What happened? Did Cody do anything wrong to you? Tell me! If I ever caught him mistreating you, he sure won't be able to get away with it. No, no, no. He's very nice to me. It's just that he and his family are so poor. I mean, they can't even have their own car. And Cody still sticks with his back-breaking and lowly paid job. I mean, how could I be happy with someone who's in the gutter like him? Scarlet, what are you talking about? You should know better than anyone else that Cody is the most hardworking and humble person on earth. Even managed to give you a real diamond ring, which costs nearly the money that he earns for at least one year. I know he has saved up for that ring for a very long time. You should be really happy and grateful that you found yourself such a wonderful man. But Harper, that diamond ring is so out of fashion. It's last year's model, you know. I don't think I even want to wear that. If I ever put that hideous thing on my finger, all of my friends will laugh in my face. Especially Emma, you know? She's always envious of me because I'm 10 times more beautiful than she ever was, even after that nose job. Yuck. Scarlet, how could you say such a thing? That's so mean of you. Look, I know Cody inside and out, and he's the purest soul I've ever met. And I know he's been waiting for this wedding his whole life. How come you all of a sudden just say you don't want to marry him? I don't really care. Just cancel the wedding or whatever. Cody makes me fed up. Every single time I tell him that I want to buy new dresses, change my phone, or purchase some cosmetics, he always tells me to wait because he's used up all of his salary. Sis, tell me that you don't know he's been setting aside some money to buy a new house for you guys after the wedding. Cody is such a thoughtful person. He always thinks far ahead and wants you and him to have a bright future. And for the record, you have so many clothes that you can't even remember all of them. Wait, if he's such an angel like you said, why don't you just take my place and get married to him? <laughs> what? How can you propose such a ludicrous idea? It's your own wedding. If you don't want to marry Cody, why didn't you tell him in the first place? before planning it all out with the wedding and stuff. I tried to tell Cody many, many times, but he just didn't listen. Well, it's my stupefying beauty that has to take the blame, like always. Every guy, even if they happen to meet me just one time, claim that they want to be with me. Whatever. How could I be so stupid that I chose Cody over any other guy? Didn't you say with your own words that you wanted to be with Cody because he's the most good looking boy at high school and it would make Emma jealous? Yeah, right. I totally forgot about that part. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, what do you say about replacing me as the bride? I'm being dead serious. Sister, are you even listening to your own voice right now? There is no way I would ever agree to take your place and marry Cody. This is your wedding and you have to take responsibility. You're all grown up now, not a kid who makes mistakes and doesn't take consequences for their actions. Hey, don't raise your voice and preach like you're my parents. I know damn well what I'm doing, thank you. Then why don't gather your courage and show up in front of everyone and announce that you want to call off the wedding? It's not that difficult, you know? Harper, you know that will ruin my reputation. How could I even look at mom and dad's face anymore? What will my friends think of me? It will turn my life into a literal scandal. Again, why don't you think long and hard enough before going through with the wedding? Seriously, this just doesn't make any sense at all. Look, just go out there and say I have food poisoning, period cramps, a broken nail, or whatever. Just make something up so that I can escape this foreseen disastrous marriage. What? 
No one could ever believe in such kind of reasons. Don't think everyone is dumb like you, Scarlet. Dumb? Excuse me? If someone here were to be called dumb, that person would unquestionably be you, Harper. Enough small talk. Just wear my wedding dress and have them do some makeup for you. Then, if you're lucky enough, you could look half as pretty as me. <laughs> no chance in hell I would do as you told me to. Come on, Harper. My beloved sister, are you truly that cruel to leave me dealing with all of these troubles without taking any action? Besides, I know that deep down inside, you don't want to hurt Cody's feelings, right? I can say with certainty that you've had a crush on him since we were little. You just didn't say it because you know he liked me. No, it's not true what you said at all. Oh, come on. Now is the perfect time for you to be together with him and write your own fairy tales. Don't you want that? It's a chance that only comes once in a lifetime, you know? He won't agree to this. Look, just use the wedding veil to cover your face, okay? You and I are about the same height and weight, so I'm sure he wouldn't notice a slight difference. Hurry up, don't leave him hanging. Well, okay, but when Cody finds out about this, then you're the one to take the blame. Fine, fine, whatever. Hey, is everything okay between you and Cody? Well, after you abandoned your own wedding and forced me to replace you as the bride, everything is still going well, thank you. Oh, come on. Don't make it seem like I was guilty of everything. Besides, it was you who had the last laugh after all. I mean, getting hitched to Cody was a thing that could only happen in your wildest dreams. Am I correct? I made your dreams come true. Shouldn't you be the one who needs to thank me? Oh, yeah, I'm so grateful. It's true that I wanted to marry Cody, but not under the circumstances that you put me through. But things worked out pretty well, right? Well, I just confessed what I feel for him with my realest and honest words. And to my surprise, he actually said yes. Well, what did I tell you, huh? Just as I thought. Poor people always have sympathy for one another. <laughs> oh, by the way, I also found myself a perfect and wealthy husband. We just got married like two months ago. What? Why didn't you tell me anything? And I wasn't even invited to your wedding? Do you even consider me as your biological sister anymore? Oh, Harper, Harper. How could I let you and your impoverished husband destroy my wedding? Do you have any clue who our guests were? They all belong to an influent society. They dress and talk in such an elegant way that makes you and your husband worthy of being their servants. What? After I helped you run away from your own wedding, this is how you show your gratitude towards me? Nonsense. Didn't I tell you that you're the one who should be thanking me? And you know what the most interesting part is? I got married to Benjamin, the only person who makes you feel regret for the rest of your life for not keeping him around. Yeah, that must be the most shocking news I've heard since the beginning of my existence. And why am I not even surprised? I know what you're feeling right now, honey. You must be extremely jealous and bitter and regretful. But the fact still remains that Benjamin is my husband now. And you can't wait to start digging his fortune, right? I can read you like an open book now. It seems like money is the only thing that exists in your little mind, right? What are you saying? I just, you know, happen to help him spend the extravagant amount of money that he doesn't know what to do with. I mean, how could you be such an idiot and break up with Benjamin? Look at his family's wealth and fortune. They just purchased a new car recently, a Mercedes Maybach Accelero. Can you believe it? And it's just one of the most expensive and luxury cars that they have in their collection. Scarlett, I think you're well aware of the reasons why me and him split up, right? He's the most inconsiderate, reckless, and disrespectful person on earth, to say the least. Moreover, he's a control freak. He even set up a GPS tracker on my phone just to make sure that I didn't cheat on him. But in reality, he was the one who lied to me and went out with other girls. <sighs> it's no big deal. The most important thing is that Benjamin has deep pockets. 
And need I remind you that we're living in a world where money means power? Anyways, I don't have time to chit chat with you anymore. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go and get my nails and hair done. After that, I'm gonna do some shopping, not to mention my spa session at 2 p.m. Gosh, I'm fully booked. Yeah, whatever. Is this Harper's number? It's me, Benjamin. Wait a sec. Did you delete my number? How dare you? Oh, hey, Benjamin. What an honor to have a conversation with you again. We've just talked for like two seconds and you've already showed your manipulative and controlling behaviors. You really haven't changed much, have you? Well, yeah, of course I've changed. I just look more handsome and became wealthier, that's all. In fact, it seems like you're the one who hasn't changed a bit, Harper. I mean, you're still a loser and striking with poverty like the last time I saw you. <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. You and my sister are truly a match made in heaven. Congratulations. Well, duh, of course. To think about it, I'm so glad I dumped you and chose your sister instead. She's a million times more gorgeous than you, and she also has a sense of style, which makes her really fit in amongst my upper class friends. You dumped me? More like the opposite. Anyways, do you really think that you understand my sister inside and out? What is there to understand about your sister, really? She has a pretty simple mind, so I'm pretty sure I can see through her. And you already knew about all of her bad habits? Bad habits? What bad habits? She didn't mention anything like that. Hold on, you're saying that she's hiding something from me? That's unacceptable. Oh, so she didn't tell you about it. Well then, I'd better keep my lips sealed. About what? I'm running out of patience. Spit it out. I'm in no mood for your little game. Well, well, if you say so but the truth might hurt a little bit. And don't tell me I didn't warn you in advance. Tell me now. My sister, Scarlet, or should I say your wife, is dealing with an enormous debt after all the years of overspending money for a luxurious life. Moreover, she also has a history of drug and alcohol abuse. In fact, she even was sent to jail one time for possession of illegal drugs. It was Cody, her ex-fiance, who helped her get out of jail. Not only that, but by the time Scarlett dated Cody, she was also seeing multiple other guys. Cody confronted Scarlett about it and she admitted it, but somehow Cody was still blindly in love with her. What? She never told me anything like this before. This is complete madness. This is insanity. I can never accept having a wife who's rotten to the core like Scarlett. I'm surely gonna have to talk with her about this. Don't make it feel like you're innocent as a dove. I mean, I wouldn't be exaggerating right now if I had said that you're also having an affair with a couple of girls right now. I can easily say that based on how you treated me when we were together. How on earth do you know? Wait, this is a trap. You're just wild guessing. Look, I don't want to waste my time talking nonsense with you. I have to go and talk with Scarlett to clear things out with her. Okay, do what you have to do. And don't be too shocked when you get to hear the whole story. Harper, why did you rat me out? Why did you tell Benjamin about my history with drugs and alcohol? Well, he demanded the truth and nothing but the truth. Plus, you already know that I'm a terrible liar. How dare you stab me in the back? We're sisters. You should be very ashamed of yourself. Now Benjamin told me that he's gonna stop providing me with a monthly allowance and even file an annulment. If anything bad happens to our marriage, it's completely your fault. Stab you in the back? Well, you can do that without blinking an eye. And I even lost count of how many times you've double crossed and played tricks on me. What are you even saying, Harper? I don't quite get you. 
Well, do you remember when we were little? You used to deprive me of every gift that I received on my birthday. At that time, when we were in high school and doing our mathematics test, you just snatched my answer paper without asking, wrote your name on it, and gave me your empty paper instead. How about that time on prom night? You intentionally spilled wine on my newly bought dress and stuck chewing gum to my hair just to make me look ugly in Cody's eyes. And those are just one of the few very simple things that prove how savagely you treated me. I guess you think that just because you're my older sister, you can do what the hell you want, right? Oh, Harper, my beloved sister. Don't tell me you're still holding on to that old grudge from when we were younger. I mean, come on. I was so young and stupid at the time. I wasn't even aware of what I was doing. And why should I forget about that time when you forced me to marry Cody so that you could sneak away and find your own wealthy husband? I can't understand why you pulled up every stupid trick you can come up with to get together with Cody. And then later on, in your own wedding, you chose to dump him like a sack of potatoes. Didn't I tell you that I can't put up with his poverty? Well, Cody is the only one who can put up with all of your bad habits and impropriety. You don't know how deeply and blindly he fell in love with you. As for Benjamin, I can tell without a doubt that he's more than happy to get rid of you after getting to know your past. And I'm not even sure if you really did put an end to your drug addiction or not. It's, it's none of your business. But please, can you tell Benjamin that everything you said wasn't true and you just did that out of your envy towards me? How could I keep myself afloat if we actually got a divorce? Where can I get money from to support myself? Not to mention the enormous debt that's hanging around my neck. Can you please help me out, Harper? You're the only one who can help me to get out of this mess. I do feel sorry for you. But on second thought, how should I be sorry at all? I mean, did you even have any bit of guilt when you did all sorts of crazy things and bullied me? Harper, you know I love you more than anything in the world. You're my one and only sister. Sisters get each other's back, right? This time, you're on your own, Scarlet. I'm done being used. I also have other things to do, like planning out my vacation trip with my parents and my husband, Cody. He wants us to visit several European countries and have a lot of fun before coming back and buying ourselves a new house. Several European countries? A new house? Where did you get all of that money from? Didn't I tell you before? He had saved up quite a large sum of money before deciding to get married to you. Too bad. It was me that he married, not you. Oh, and I forgot to mention, with the job promotion he just received and a salary of $11,500 per month, I think it should be soon enough until we can get ourselves a new and luxury car. No, this can't be happening. Your life can't be better than mine. It seems like you were very thrilled at the prospect of turning my life into a disaster, right? But ain't no way you're gonna get what you want. Enjoy dealing with all of those debts and troubles. Scarlett and Benjamin fight and argue all the time. There's not a single moment of peace in their house. Scarlett also found out that her husband cheats on her with other girls. But when she confronted Benjamin about it, all she got was violence and rudeness from his side. But somehow she still refuses to divorce Benjamin, regardless of how many times I've tried to convince her. Well, I guess saving face means everything to her after all, and she surely doesn't want her reputation to be damaged. Scarlett also got back to her own way, which is deep in alcohol and drugs. It makes me feel really sad and sorry for her, but what can I do? In the end, it's each and everyone's choice how they shape their own lives, right? As for me and Cody, we're more happy and fulfilled than ever. Now that we have got our own beautiful house, we can concentrate on building our career paths and of course, think about having kids. Getting married to Cody surely is the best decision I have ever made in my entire life. Guess I really have to thank my toxic sister for that, after all.